Thank you for coming over to the channel, guys. And as you can see, we're back to another segment of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Because I can, can, and I can, 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 I will, will, and I can, I can, can. Yes, we're talking about Nene Leaks today, guys. We ain't going on in her. We ain't going on in on her, okay? So it's not that kind of video. We know she just lost her husband in September, September the 1st of 2001, to be correct, all right? But, whoo, this fall, this winter, Nene is cutting up. She over here with flip-flap man, I like to call him, y'all like to call him, Naomi. But he has some questionable flip-flaps with some furry flip-flaps that he's liking to partake in. I'm just saying. And all Nene's fanatics are out there saying, live your best life, Nene, live your best life, do you, girl, do you. Did y'all forget Nene is 54 years old? She ain't no youngin' running out here, okay? What happened to her success of excellence, ladies, uh, things she put together where is that where are they they should be her voice of reasoning out here and we know Nene got so called hooked up with Naomi through Peter or through Cynthia however they have it out there and she made it uh, publicly known she was messing with him which I don't understand how a mistress or a side chick can become the main chick when the man is married legally still even though they say or he say they're separated but I'm like what you gonna do to Brent that's your baby boy that is your baby boy he looks like Greg up and down okay what are you doing to his self-esteem what are you doing to where he has to sit out there and take up for you because people are whispering or talking behind his back about you nene his mama now we know the grieving process looks like a lot of different ways to several people but we do know when greg was one in companionship when you head through him to the side you fired that woman okay and blasted her on every social media outlet you could take a part of now we know you lonely and i didn't say nothing when you was out here with a married man i said a little bit but i was like you know i understand why you are taking them apart or are you upholding uh the essence of messing with married men and that's supposed to be okay like you're trying to sell us this new normal that i ain't with nene you didn't want nobody messing with greg so why would you be messing with another woman's man it's they say it's a shortage on black men i don't know but if you go to antarctica or alaska you might be right up there with them nene and you can probably convince them to come back to the states and be your one and only man but Lord, you out here messing with the youngins. Brent age, Nene. You got a granddaughter, right? How are the optics looking out there? With her, her mother, your oldest son, Byron. I think his name is Byron. Something like that. It's a B. And you call yourself, hey Jasmine Brown, y'all go over there and check out her YouTube channel and her podcast and all the things wonderful over there, Jasmine Brand, and tell them Dale Chanel sent you over there. And I used her picture, okay? So hopefully she won't get offended. Uh, but I did give her a shout out. All right. But yeah, it seems like when Nene lost the Real Housewives of Atlanta, couldn't get them to negotiate on bringing her back on her terms, of course. She blamed everybody. She wanted to boycott. She wanted to destroy the true original platform that she once held in high regard and high esteem. But that along with the deceased, uh, well, her hus um, husband dying and becoming deceased, making her a widow. Uh, it takes a lot. It takes a toll. And like I said, she can agree great the rest of her life. But she got more years behind her than she has ahead of her so i wouldn't ideally think for her to do it that way uh but you're never gonna find another man like greg you're never gonna find him in yanni 
you, you're just never going to do that, Nene. You held the reins with Greg. You rolled them real well. And he was pretty much at your beck and call because he chose to be. All right. He was one of those type of men that chose to let you have your way. Okay. In public. But behind them closed doors, I'm pretty sure it was something totally different. Um, but um, Naomi, are you trying to make him choose? Are you trying to make him totally separate? Totally from his wife you want him you're urging him you're pleading with him you're demanding that he gets a divorce so you can look aesthetically pleasing to us in social media is that what you're trying to pull by calling yourself sleeping or not sleeping but giving you or the viewers and I fool that you may be sleeping with this man. Well, you could have just been laying down on the sofa with him, chilling. And you want us to make speculations that you're doing something with this young man. Is that to kind of get under Naomi's skin to see that you pretty much wanted to go for a younger meat instead of his tender season meat, girl? Honey, Nayoni looks like he done been around the block a few times. He kind of reminds me of Greg Suave type look. He know the deal. He know what you doing, boo. And it ain't going to work. So if you want this side chick uh, down low in the bushes while he definitely has a wife and a family somewhere else. Uh, I think in South Carolina. I think. Uh, you think he's going to give that up for you totally in totality so you and him can be the new Bill Gates or whatever. I don't know what you're trying to do with this man. But it's not going to work, Nene. And it's not looking good for Brent, your son, where you're tracing, traping out here trying to sleep with somebody his age or give the impression that you're sleeping with a youngin. You know, Robin and Craig and all that jazz. It don't look good. And Brent should not have having to not be defending you out there when you do these antics. You know better. You're 54 years old. You know trying to play the fences, trying to play the sides, trying to feel like you this, you know, woman, hear her roar. And, you know, really want to, it seems like you want to be a wife again. But I'm like, girl... Give yourself time to breathe. Give yourself time to grieve. Give yourself time to find out who you are and where you want to be in life. You know, Yanni, you know, I'm just on the idea that he is still married. I can't for the life of me get past that to say you have my blessing or in public opinion, I give you the nods to mess with a married man. I can't do that. And I'm sure I have a lot of other people that would bag me up and say they can't do that either. And Nene, you know in your heart of hearts, you can't do that either. You know? <sighs> you want somebody that has somebody connected to you. You don't want to have that man or man you're messing with connected to anybody else too. And you're trying, in my eyes, to tell Yanni, hey, if you don't want to get with me and get with it being soul in me then i go mess with somebody else and i can and i will get somebody younger if i have to but nee 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 the more you go younger the more you're going to be keeping that young man it's not going to be where they keep you and have the means and the resources and the connections to get you where you need to be unless you mess with kanye west or uh Pharrell or Snoop Dogg, you know, you messing with them in the sheets or something. Then they may can make something happen. But again, do you want to end up like Wendy Williams, girl? Oh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because Wendy's on an isolation island of her own that she built <coughs> specifically to be on that island on her own because she wanted to tell people's business, whether they were her, her friends her family members or her foes. She was out there to set up a platform where she wanted to tell people's truth. You know, or what was 
their comings and goings on a daily basis. And that's what she made into an empire. Okay. The real gossip. Strictly coming from Wendy Williams. And only she can do it. Her way was entertaining. How you doing? Okay. So. Um, I don't know what you're doing Nene. But like I said. I give you grace. To stumble, fall, bump your heads. But my grace is only for a year. Because. You can't be looking all kind of crazy out here. Because like I said, you're older, you're seasoned, you've been around the block several times, and then some. You know what's what. You know what's a good look, what's a bad look. You know the pros and cons that goes with being in certain negative lighting. And if you want to sell products or you want to be the spokesperson for a big lucrative company, just say Tiffany or Louis Vuitton or any other French designers, okay? Or, or the Italian designers. Is that the same thing? Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, uh, or if you want to do some American marketing, they want a wholesome person. They want a person that everybody likes. And wants to adore. And they believe in everything that they wear. That they say. That they um, talk about. Uh, the different uh, gadgets and gadgets out there. They want someone that people like. Without any tarnishment. That they're going to put on their brand. You know what I'm saying? And they're not going to use you Nene. Because you're out here tracing the streets. Riding with young men clubbing you know showing yourself to be not worthy of coming up to their standards of housing their product or selling their product for them i mean do you want to be with the rich and famous and the elites looking down at other people standing on your chariot your palace platform looking at the peasants in the streets you know the royal british type of Rubbing the elbows and the noses and the arms and the feet and whatever. You want to be up there with the creme de la creme? Well, these actions that you're doing here out in these streets, Nene, is not going to put you on that platform. Okay? It's going to put you on Zeus Network. You get where I'm going? You remember Jocelyn Cabaret? Well, she's teaching uh, hoes and strippers how to become famous hoes and strippers. Y you know, which one you want to be in? Because it's not looking good. And it's not looking good for you being a mother and a grandmother. I mean, I can see if you was in your 20s. You try to get your life together. Try to figure out who you were. But, Nina, you're 54 years old, baby. You're 54 years old. So, if that's your plans by messing with that youngin. To try to get Naomi to look at you more in a light where you would be his only woman. That's not a good look. We played that shit them cars in high school. You can't play another man over another man. They already know what you're doing. Okay, you're showing your hand. So just stop it. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm pleading for you to do. Stop it. Live your best life. Take some of that money. Go. Well, can't go on no cruise. But if you got that kind of money, go to an island that's a secluded. Get your passport. You know, go find you. Write your real autobiography. Uh, autobiography you know get a real writer to uh get into your mind and see what we can pull out that's not salacious you know but just you and again where's that group you form the women of excellence where are they shouldn't they be your breastplate your your backbone to you know hook you up with some men or did you just go gather all these women from here and there and put them together and said they had all this stuff going on. Well, you know, they probably didn't have anything going on. But since you didn't have anything going on and you needed a storyline, you had to make this fictitious uh, ensemble of women, professional women, and try to make like they were the cream of the crop out there moving and shaking. Okay? When they're probably barely holding their heads up, up from that water sinking them under, you know. Because entrepreneurship is a, is a beast in itself. It's something you constantly work at daily. And you don't have a day off. Okay. When you think you got a day off. You find yourself promoting your business. Because you're you're meeting. And you're being around other influential people. 
and it might be a happy-go-lucky time because of the holidays and everybody chit-chatting all this but then you thinking about damn i need to network with them i need to talk a little business as well as you know uh be happy and cheery and merry-go-lucky so and this man may have the opportunity where you can diversely you know uh hook up with some of his people but you can't stronghold the man in it. You can't you can't do him like you did Greg now. That was a lifetime of, of strongholding between both you and him. Okay? So chill, baby. That's all I'm saying. Chill. Get your uh groove back. But well, definitely get it with somebody that got something to give or can make you look good in a light as well. Cause I don't know what that young man looking like. Is he a rapper, honey? Is he a clothing designer? Is he in school? Is he in college? You know, what is his endeavors? What the, what does his outlook look like other than messing with you? Okay. You looking like his grandmama running around now. Or his mama. Hey, come on now. Come on. We could do better. We could do better. Get some therapy going on. Get into your, your Bible. You know, if you still read it. I don't know. Because how you running out in these streets? I don't know if you're doing it any okay that's not the steps of walking with the lord i'm just saying what i'm saying now i ain't judging you I'm just saying you know going back and forth messing with a married man even though he's separated then you're going around him messing with this youngin who might be in his early 20s brent your son's age i mean what, what, what we doing around him then what, what we doing okay you got me stuttering over him but like i said i, I, I know you know, you ain't used to being by yourself. You used to being hung up with Greg. Even when y'all would call yourself separated, divorced, and all this stuff, he's still living in your house. Downstairs. So he was still there. For you to bounce off ideas or whatever. Whether y'all were having an open relationship, but it was on the down low. Whether you would, doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? You were having your fun, but you always had Greg as that fallback guy. You don't have Greg no more. I understand it got it good. But make it make sense, baby. Make it make sense and make it make money for you instead of embarrassing you, you know. Okay? I'm just saying. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Weigh in on my conversation and see if we can have further dialogue. Other than that, you know I'll see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.